Hi guys, it's Alexis, and welcome back to my channel. And today I'm filming sort of a way different video on my channel, but something I feel like I would love to be addressed to my channel, and something that needs to be addressed to my channel, just because it's such a serious matter today in this 21st century. So today, bleh, today I am filming a video on haters slash bullying, and it's, it's worldwide with haters and bullying, and I feel like it's just... In this last year or two, it's just completely blown out. And obviously, it's happened for so many years, but all of a sudden, people... There's so many teen suicides, you know? And I feel like it's just something that needs to be addressed. You know, where I live, lots of people I know have committed teen suicide, you know? And I feel like it's something that needs to be addressed, you know? And it happens so many times. But without further ado, let's get started. So haters and bullies, like, they're the same thing, basically, just different words to define them. But let's think of it in a positive way to start off. Haters and bullies, honestly, like, once you have haters, like, think of that as a positive thing for you, you know? Because, like, people care about you, obviously, so much for you to have a fan base of people that like you, love you, and support you. And then a hater base where people don't support you, you know? They give you rude comments, they go out of their day just to let you know how much they don't like you. And, you know, to bully you, to disrespect you. Just think that in a positive way. Like, you know, feel like, oh, I made it somewhere. You know, I made it somewhere enough to have a fan base and a hater base, you know. And I feel like that's the positive way to think of it, you know. And the funny way to think of it is haters go out of their way. They waste their breath just to walk over you to you and say something that they know is going to hurt you. You know, something to criticize you, you know, something like, Oh, you're ugly. Oh, I don't like you. You know, something as little as that. And, you know, that does hurt, you know. And we have to learn. Us people that don't bully, we have to form together in a group. Just like haters form together to rage at you. We have to form a way to rage at them. But in a nice way, you know. So they go out of their way to go and do that to you. Why? They don't like you. I mean, if I didn't like someone, I'm not going to go waste my day to go up to them and be like, Oh, I don't like your outfit today, you know. And if you're getting bullied online. They go out of their way to go click on your Instagram page, go click on your Twitter page, go click on your Facebook page, whatever social media you're on, to go look at whatever they want, go comment on a picture. They waste their day to go click on it, click on your picture, and type a five sentence something rude. One word. Anything. Just, just what? what? What are they benefiting out of it, honestly? Are they getting paid? No. Just think of that. They're not getting anything out of this. They're just doing it. Why? Because they have nothing better to do with their lives? What? Because someone's not messaging them? Because the person they like isn't messaging them? Like, what are you getting out of it, honey? Like, you're getting nothing out of it, you know? And, you know, when you think of it, like, I was bullied at 4th or 6th grade, and honestly, it's terrible, you know? Pe people that don't understand or come from that situation, like, oh, how could one little word hurt you? It does hurt you, you know? Like, because there's just always that people that bully you, you know? Uh, when I was bullied at school, one person bullied me, so everyone had to stop talking to me. You know, and when you get bullied online, I feel like it comes from a different perspective online because everyone's raging at you. You know, people you know, people you don't know. And if you don't know the person, that's the most dumbest thing. If you don't know the person, it doesn't matter. Because guess what? You're never going to see that person. What, when you go to King Supers, are you going to run into them? No. And if they're bullying you online, but they don't say nothing to you in person and you do know them, what's that telling you? They don't have confidence because they don't have the confidence to go up to you and say it to your face. So why are you making a big deal of it? You know, it shouldn't matter, you know? Kill them with humor. That's what I do. If someone's blowing with me, kill them with humor. There's only so much they can say back to humor before they run out of things to say. What, they're just going to put back the laughing face and put out well? Because they're so dumb, they don't know what else to just say. Because like, oh, I look dumb. They're killing me with humor. Or delete them, you know? Who cares if they, oh, you delete my comment? Just keep deleting them. And eventually they're going to stop, you know? And if you know this person, and the next day they're like, oh, you're deleting my comments on what I said? Guess what? Just, it doesn't matter. What's the worst they're going to do to you in person? Say something to you? Kill them with humor. What? They're going to want to fight you? Guess what? If that honestly gets to the point, fight them. Because you're going to win fights and you're going to lose fights. And you know, it really doesn't matter, you know? Like, it just irritates me so much, you know? Like, why do you waste your time to go out of it? Haters and bullies are people that are insecure about themselves. They have no confidence. Something's going on in their life. They envy what you have. I'm going to be honest, like... When I envy someone, like, I'm just like, oh my gosh, you're so beautiful, you know? Like, be honest with them, you know? If you aren't, and they're like, oh, I don't envy what they have. Jealous of what? Honey, you're jealous of something, obviously, because why are you hating on them? You know? And when you don't like someone, have a good reason. 
Like, if they were talking stuff about your family, have a reason to talk to them. Not because, no reason. When someone says, oh, why don't you like them? They just say, because I don't. Why? Because you don't lie. Like, that doesn't make no sense to me. Like, you haters are just, why do you go out of your way to say, you know? And for the people that are getting bullied, you know, for doing stuff you love, like, look, on my Instagram page, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you can't see it, but, gotta get to it, I like doing uh, these lip singing videos, if you guys could see it, you know, and you get so much hate from it, you know, I got so much hate from doing it, like, I got posted on this lip singers page, and so many hateful, rude comments, and, you know, honestly, I just laughed my way out and killed it with humor, like, you know, who cares, like, what, you don't like what I do? Good for you, I didn't ask for your opinion, you know? Do what you love. If you're getting bullied for doing something you love, if you're getting bullied for doing YouTube and you're a YouTuber, if you're getting bullied for doing something on Instagram, if you're getting bullied for anything, who cares? No one, like, we need to learn to not care, you know? And honestly, words are strong, but guess what? At the end of the day, words don't matter. You have the people that love you and respect you and are there for you. And then you just have this little sack of trash over there that are waiting for you to care about what they say, you know? Like, it, it doesn't matter, you know? And if you're getting bullied at school constantly every day and it's never stopping, you know? On, I, I get it. Words do get to you, you know? And if they're saying stuff to you every day, tell an adult. If that doesn't make you a tattletale. That's saving you. What, they're going to get suspended for three days and come back and do it? Tell again. Who cares? Until they learn, tell. It doesn't matter. It doesn't make you a tattletale. Because guess what? Your feelings and your emotions and your life is what matters at the end of the day. Not what they're saying. They're obviously jealous of you, you know, and if you're thinking, oh, well, there's nothing for them to be jealous of me, of course, you're a beautiful, loving person that can never be as evil and dirty as them. Like, why, you know? And I could rat and chat about this all day, you know? I get bullied for doing YouTube, you know? And that's what you have to expect. When you start a YouTube channel, you know that you're putting yourself out there. You're going to get lots of haters. And you're going to get lots of people that support and love you and respect you, you know. At school, people are like, oh, you do YouTube videos? Oh, well, like, like they would joke about it, you know. But people don't understand like, saying little comments when you think, oh, that's not bullying. When it could really get to you, you know. But you just have to learn to not care about it, you know. Like, they play my videos in class. You just have to kill it with humor and, you know, just laugh about it, you know. And honestly, I feel like that's the best way to kill them. Kill them with humor. That's my personal advice to you. If you're getting bullied online, kill them with humor. Kill them with humor, you know. Whatever. If they say, oh, you have a big nose, but like, I know I could smell your hate from here. You know, just say something smart and corny and like, kill them with humor all the way. Like, pow, pow, pow. You know, and if I get a lot of hate on this video too, guess what? We could all kill them with humor, you know. And... Honestly, I feel like it needs to come to end. What are... I have a question for the haters and bullies. If you're watching this part of the video, congratulations, because you obviously care enough to watch this far in the video to see this. But what do you get out of it? What do you get out of it for calling a girl fat? What do you get out of it for calling a guy gay? What do you get out of it? Nothing, right? You're not getting nothing out of it. I mean, is uh, the president coming to give you um, a Nobel Peace Prize for saying that? Sure, no, he's not. What are you getting out of it? Money? What are you getting out of it? Like, why do you do it? Like, I understand there's people that are like, oh, I attack my haters, you know, but when you attack them with mean words also, when you're calling them that stuff back, guess what? That just makes you a bully too. Ignore them, you know, or kill them with humor, you know? And that's pretty much my question. Like, I honestly don't get it, you know? And if you are in the bully perspective and you're getting bullied, I feel you. I understand your perspective. And, you know, when you're in that situation, you just, you feel locked in. Like, you feel like no one's there, no one's there, no one cares, you know. And you feel like everything's falling apart at once. But trust me, everything's going to get much better. I'm in high school right now, and going from middle school, elementary school, none of those, none of those kids will matter because they're all going to grow up. If you're getting bullied and you're in middle school and elementary school right now, guess what? Once you get to high school, yeah, there's still going to be some bullying, but it evens out. It's definitely not like mean girls or anything. It all evens out, and people become who they are, and they start to express who they are. And if you're still getting bullied and you're in high school, guess what? And what, if you're in ninth grade, in three years, they're not going to matter. If you're in 12th grade, you have one year to go through. You know, it doesn't matter what they say. You just focus on you. Focus on what's going to get you somewhere in life, to be successful, to make money, you know, to be doing what you love, you know? And do whatever you like, you know? If people are bringing you down, especially if people you love and people that are supposed to love you back are bringing you down, guess what? 
they shouldn't matter to you. They're, they shouldn't be somebody you care about and put so much time into. And if someone you have, you honestly don't really even talk to, and they're the ones bringing you in, guess what? Just cut them out. Who cares? If you don't know the person, please, it doesn't matter. Please, it doesn't matter. And my camera's out of focus. But that's really, honestly, I just wanted to do this quick little rant chat for you guys about haters and bullying. Because I feel like it's becoming such a serious matter, you know? And, you know, there's lots of videos like this. Oh, well, they shouldn't bully. But honestly, I feel like people that are getting bullied, you guys could come together as one, you know? If you're getting bullied, come together as one, like all the haters come together and rant against them. But do it in kind. Kill them with kindness, with humor. You know, don't kill them with the mean, nasty words that they have in their little sack of throwing out of their little witch purses or whatever you would like to define them as. You know, it doesn't matter. And trust me, it gets better, you know. I care for you. If you're a subscriber or you're here at all seeing this video and you're being bullied and you just need someone to talk to and support, you know, I have social media, you could talk to me, I'm here for you. You know, if your parents are there for you. If you're scared to tell your parents that you're being bullied, don't be. Tell them, you know, there's a teacher, there's teachers at school that are there for you. If you have a best friend, a sister, a cousin, anyone, tell them. Because trust me, your life and your feelings and everything is way more important than what's going to happen to them, you know. And where I live, you could get tickets for bullying, you know. And honestly, I feel like that's great, but I feel like it needs to be taken to higher levels, you know. People should not bully. If you're bullying online bullying, you need to get serious punishment, not suspended for three days or whatever. You need to get serious punishment because there's something seriously wrong with your mind. I'm not trying to sound like the bully, but guess what? All you bullies out there have taken so many lives away, you have hurt so many people, and you have made them feel worthless. But I'm telling you right now, those people are worth more, to, worth more than anything in this world. And you could never come as close to that until you stop. And this is basically what I wanted to address for my channel, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys like this video. I will be posting more videos. Give this video a thumbs up if you agree with all of this. And comment down below if you have ever been bullied. Or if you have ever known anyone that's been bullied. And if you know lots of haters. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.